Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well I had a question on one of my videos. Somebody was asking if they can use a text module for a button. And the simple answer with Divi is yep, and it's really easy and I'll show you how to in this video. So I've got my Divi WordPress theme installed and up here I've got a simple services page going. Divi is an absolutely awesome theme. I've been using it for several years now and built literally hundreds of sites with it. It just keeps getting better and better and keeps adding more and more features. If you'd like to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link just below this video. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable Divi's Visual Builder so we can build this on the front end. Once the Visual Builder is loaded, let's go down and I guess I'll put a row in between these two here. So we've got a little blue button there. Let's add a new section. Regular section. And it's prompting me to add some columns. I'm going to add, say, four columns, one for each of our buttons here. And I'm just going to add a simple text module. By default, Divi comes with all these modules. And there's plenty enough there to get you going for just about any site you want. So here's a text module. And it comes populated with a bit of text. I'm just going to put something in there like perhaps get a quote. And let's perhaps put an icon in front of it or something like that. We could use Divi's icons. I'm, I'm just going to actually upload an image and we'll jig it around from there. So let's have a look, get a quote. I'm going to add a little icon. Hit the add media button. I'm dragging a little image across. There it is. Select that. I've got it full size. And there it is. That's great. Let's give our little module here a background color I guess we'll we'll make it that sort of opaque blue like the one below something like that okay and let's hit this little arrow right here and if we do it'll give us an option to give it a different color on hover and let's change the cover when it color when it hovers let's perhaps make it a bit lighter so I'm just clicking on the color I'm going to move the swatch up this little button up here to give it a lighter sort of color oh, I'm happy with that so it's got two different states now it's got one for default as you can see the darker blue gray and one for hover which is that sort of a lighter blue color okay well it's all cramped up here so we need to give it a bit of space and I think I need to move that up so it's more central and looks more like a button so let's first give it a bit of padding. So I'm going to go to the design tab. I'm going to go to sizing. And here's the padding. Top, let's say 20 pixels. And if I hit this little check mark there, this little link, it'll do the bottom for me as well. So we've got 20 top and bottom. Let's do the same left and right. There we go. It's looking a bit more like it now. All right, so this text we really want to move up here. I could target the P within this class, but let's just write some CSS on the page here. So I'm going to go into the content. Here's the text we've got in there. If I switch to the text tab, here's our image, which is fine. And here's our writing. I'm going to wrap the writing in some P tags there. And I'll put this CSS I use down below the video if you want to use it. You're welcome to. Okay, so I want to wrap it in some P tags for paragraph tags. That way we can give it some style. So P. And let's give it some style. Style equals inverted commas and inside those inverted commas let's put the style that we want so what I want to do is close out that p tag 
and put a closing P tag on the end there. And let's switch back to visual just briefly. And let's align this image. Just left clicked on the image, align that left so the text goes next door to it. Hit on the text one again. And it's actually taken my P tags away. So let's put those back in again. And a closing P tag on the end. And let's say we want to push it to the right a little bit. I might do that on the image, but we certainly want to push it up a bit. So we say margin top. Let's say minus 20 pixels will probably be too much. Yeah, that's too much. So let's say minus 10 pixels. There we go, that's pretty much in the middle. You might want to take it down. Say eight picks. Seven picks. So minus seven kind of works there. And we've already got style on our image up here, so I can add a bit of margin to the right hand side of it to push that text across slightly. I'll just add it after the semicolon on the float left there. And I'm just going to say margin. This time we want right. Let's say 10 pixels. And that should push that writing over a little ways. That's better. And I'm fairly happy with that. May want to come across a little bit more. What if we do 15? That may be too much. Well, I think that's okay. And as we've changed size with margins and things here, we need to add a little bit of padding to the bottom because we've got less on the bottom than we have on the top at the moment. So let's go over to our design tab. Let's go down to our spacing again. And on the bottom, we want to uncheck the chain icon this time. And we'll give it a little bit more. I'm just using the up and down arrows that appear when you hover over it. I'm just going to put it pretty much where I want it. There we go. I'm fairly happy with that. Although I don't like that initial background color, so I'm going to change that quickly. Remember, we got a different one on hover. So the default is the default color. Let's make it, I don't know. really doesn't matter too much I may get that purple color how's that okay let's save that and what we want to do we want to link it so it actually goes somewhere and it can go wherever you want I'll just link it to one of my websites I guess again we'll go into the module itself just click on the dark cog the dark tab here is for the module itself the green one is for the row and the blue one is for the whole section there so we want to go into the module we'll just click this on the content tab you can go down and there's a little link option right there click on it and just paste your link in here I'm just gonna grab my website now you can have it open in the same window as this is an external site I'm gonna say open in a new window or in a new tab and save that so let's ex exit Divi go down to our purple button down here save our changes once saved let's exit the visual builder and here's our button and if you notice when we hover over it, it changes color and when we click on it, it opens our new destination in a new tab there. So that's how easy it is to make a button out of a text module. And that's a very simple example, but it's quite effective. You can add another four buttons and do things however you want. So there you have it. That's how to make a button out of a text module. 
I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it. If you're interested in web development, have a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.